Welcome to what I'm hoping is going to be the first of a series of short videos on incredible IntelliJ shortcuts that can help you to get much more productive at using it as an IDE. I want to cover some shortcuts to deal with handling of text today. So one of my favourite is to do with column select. So obviously you know you can select across here and down, but what's nice is if you can select multiple lines at once. So if you press and hold Alt and then drag down, you can do multiple lines at the same time and you can edit them and add text and that's really, really nice. One of the other things that's recently come in as of IntelliJ 13.1 is that you can put this cursor in multiple places. So if you hold Alt, Shift and then use your mouse click, you can put it in lots of different places like this. So you can do lots of places, which is really, really nice, I think. But one of the problems with this, again, is that you have to move your hand and touch the mouse. And, you know, where possible, I don't want to use the mouse. Although you can use column select without that. Uh, however, it's a bit of a complicated shortcut on Mac. So how do I do, say, if I wanted to select one for everything? So if I select that, then what I can do is use Control G to select the next one and the next one. And that's on Mac, it's Alt-J if you're on Windows. And I can select all of those, which is pretty cool. And if you do Control-Shift-G or Alt-Shift-J on Windows, you can go backwards. So that's really nice. And again, you know, I can completely replace those with some extra different text, uh, which, you know, is really, really nice. Uh, and one of my favorite uses of this kind of cursor stuff is, so if I were to, for example, put this on multiple lines, which perhaps you might do if you were handling strings or if you were creating a new method, and then you want to put all of these onto one line. So you can do the column select stuff that we discussed before. And then if you select Control Shift J, that returns them all to one line, which is really, really nice. So that's today's cool shortcuts for handling text editing and we'll be back with another video soon.